Hello everybody, I'm John, this is JP Strategic Investments, and today we're gonna to do some technical analysis on Patriot One stock. Now, before I get too far into the technical analysis, I do wanna to touch on something here that some of you may already be aware of, which is that Patriot One has just come out with their own app. Now, this app is specifically for Patriot One customers, so if you're not a customer, you won't be able to access the features. I actually tried to download the app myself and see if I could use any of the features or just at least check them out, but you do have to have a QR code or a login to actually even access any of the features in the app, so I wasn't really able to do so. Now, just from the pictures here, the general feel of the app, it kind of gives me a, kind of a similar look, a, a similar feel to the Ring Doorbell app, if any of you guys have that. You know, you have your alerts detected, uh, you can go back and rewatch an alert, you can confirm the alert. Maybe this might, you know, allow them to automatically call the authorities if they uh, hit confirm here. We'll have to see, but overall, just from the general first impressions of the app, looks pretty decent, looks like a nice simple design, uh, pretty much what the customers would need. You know, unfortunately we don't really get to kind of see for ourselves what the functionality looks like and, and how well it actually works, but to me, looks pretty good just on the surface. We'll have to see going forward, see if we hear about any customer complaints or customer compliments or things like that. But overall, to me, looks like a pretty solid, pretty simple app. Now, getting back to the technical analysis side of this, the reason I wanted to touch on this technical analysis, even though I'm really more focused on the fundamentals of the company, is because I want people to understand maybe why Patriot One is trading a certain way at a certain time. Because with Patriot One, we have these oftentimes long periods of time and, and short little periods of time here and there where there's really no news coming out about the stock or about the company, uh, whether that be through the actual company itself or through media outlets or things like that. So during those times, the stock obviously though continues to trade. And a lot of times what it's trading on is technicals. Now, if you guys haven't done technical analysis, if you guys aren't familiar with candlestick charts, how to read those, I actually have a couple of videos on how to actually read candlestick charts, how to understand them, things like that. So if you guys aren't familiar with that, I will link some of those in the info cards above and in the description below if you guys want to check those out. Now, just looking at this chart though, I think even if you don't understand technical analysis, you'll kind of be able to see what I'm talking about. We've had this wedge forming for a few months now, actually several months, since pretty much the beginning of October. And if you look at each of the times this top uh, trend line of this wedge has been tested, we have this big green candle and then a pretty decent sized red candle as the stock gets pushed down. Same thing here, nice big green candle, big red candle pushing it down big green candle and big red candle pushing it down. This to me tells me that this trend line here is pretty strong resistance. It's gonna take a, a decent amount for the stock to break through. We can see from these wicks here that momentarily the stock kind of did break through there but quickly got pushed back down. So that's what we have on the resistance side but we do also have some strong support at the bottom of this wedge. You can see every time that the stock has really tested the bottom of this wedge, we have a nice big green candle coming off the bottom of that wedge. And just today we actually had the stock go up about 6% or so. So we're seeing some nice support at the bottom of this wedge. Now what that tells me is that if we don't get any news prior to the shareholder letter, it's very likely that over the next two weeks, the stock is going to trade around these technicals and pretty much stay within this wedge. We could see it move up to the top of the wedge, could see it move down uh, back to the bottom of the wedge, but we'll kind of have to see. So that's kind of my analysis, that's my opinion. Let me know if you guys uh, you know, think I'm wrong. Let me know if you guys have done some charting yourselves and you're seeing something different. That's kind of what I'm seeing right now. I'm looking forward to the shareholder letter. Um, maybe we'll get some announcements before then, but probably not gonna see any major moves in the stock until we get that shareholder letter. If you guys have any questions, have any comments, uh, think there's anything that I missed, definitely let me know in the comments below. Other than that, see you guys next time and have a great day.